Den and Dart then arrived at the Flying Scotsman Memorial. Well, said Den, looks like we're going to have to break our way through that door. Stop, boomed a voice from inside the castle. You will not break my door down. Whoa, said Dart. He was very scared. Oh, I don't know if we should go in there, said Dart. Yes, boomed the voice. Now go back, or I will summon my dragon on you. Oh, there's no dragon, said Den. Dragons aren't real. Come on, let's go. Just then the door opened, and there sat the Chinese dragon. Den and Dart then screamed and puffed quickly away. Bill, Ben, and Harold were then behind the castle that operated the Chinese dragon. That was amazing, yelled Bill. Definitely our best prank yet, eh, Ben? Indeed, agreed Ben. I'll go inform the others at the station that the dragon worked, said Harold as he flew away. Oh, it was scary, boss, said Dart as he and Den got back to where the diesels were. You idiots, cried P.T. Boomer. Who the heck gets stopped by a dragon? I think you two are just making excuses. Now, how are we going to get to the station? Just then, Lori One came and plowed right into the back of Trevor and pushed him off the rail. Aha, said P.T. Boomer. Lori One to the rescue. Thank goodness you are on that railway. We are saved. Of course, boss, said Lori One. I, ha I heard you were on the railway and I had to come to the rescue. Harold arrived at Nafford Station. Excellent, said Sir Topham Hatt to Harold. I'm glad the dragon worked. Now with Trevor blocking the crossing and the dragon at the Flying Scotsman Memorial, they won't even be able to get to the station. Then all of a sudden in the distance, everyone at Nafford Station heard a loud boom.